bedtime stories. Good night, little bear. Little bear was feeling sleepy. It was nearly the end of the day. His mom had come to take him home. There was no more time to play. No more time to play. Little bear yawned and gave a stretch. I feel a bit tired, he said. Mom took his tiny paw in hers and gently stroked his head. Okay. All little bears get sleepy, said mom, and the sun is sinking low. It will soon be bedtime for everyone. It's time for us to go. Little bear gave his mommy a cuddle in the rosy evening light. Can I go to see my friends? He asked. I want to say good night. Little bear said good night to the birds, twittering in their nest. They fluttered their wings and chirped, then settled down to rest. Mother duck quacked to her ducklings, and they cuddled under her wing. Good night said Little Bear to them as the skylark began to sing. Mom and Little Bear went to the stream where all the fish swished. Little Bear said goodnight to the frogs as they happily splashed and splished. I've had a lovely day, said Little Bear, and it's been lots of fun. Good night. He said to the foal, dozing under the setting sun. Good night, said Little Bear to the butterflies, fluttering in the breeze. He said good night to the fluffy squirrels, nestling in the trees. I wish you sweet dreams, said Little Bear to the sleepy soft dormouse. Sleep tight, he said to the baby bunnies curled up in their cozy house. <laughs> Along the shadowy woodland paths, the meadow bees came humming. Oh, this is the sound of the bees. They are flying back to their hive, said mom, because the night is coming. When will night be here? said 